welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i'm doing a home decor haul i'm throughout lockdown at the beginning the middle and the last one hopefully <laughs> um i've been doing loads of little bits around the house and getting some bits around the house so i thought because i haven't got like another room finished that i'd show you a decor haul that is very very recent like in the past couple of months um because like i said we've got quite a few bits for the house <laughs> most of the stuff is fairly big so i can't physically show you in person but you will see like little clips of each thing that i am going to talk about right the first one which is the most biggest and probably the most expensive thing is andrew's new bed um if you're not new to my channel you'll know that andrew has a high sleeper he has a very small bedroom um oh it's called box bedrooms and basically for him to be able to have all of this stuff in his room he has to have had have to have he has to have a high sleeper basically he had a normal single bed when we moved into this house and you couldn't even i could only fit that in a single well a little cupboard of like drawers in his room he couldn't even have his toys in his room <laughs> because there was just no space so we got him a high sleeper but at that point obviously we just got a cheaper version which is a metal one we've had that ever since we moved in which has been four years now um so almost four years we've had that one it was doing my head in because it rattles, it bangs against the wall, bangs against the radiator and it's just not sturdy whatsoever. So we looked about to try and find one that was wooden and that was sturdy. Um, he wanted it in grey, I said white would probably be better but he chose grey. Um, and yeah we both looked and we chose one that would be better for his room but also give him a little bit more space. So it, it was similar size to the one he's got now, well it's similar size to the one he had before. Um, it is slightly wider than. Um, but the ladder is completely straight and it gives him so much more space where his ladder is before it was like that and even though that's so much easier to climb i can't climb it now um just because it is straight and i can't climb it when it was tilted i could it was easier for me there i can't so that's the only downfall um yeah we got it from a website i'll pop it down so you can see it on the screen i've never heard of them before but basically i shopped around you could get a few for a few thousand pounds and I was like no way but we wanted to get one that was good quality but on the cheaper end of it so obviously we knew we'd have to pay a few hundred a couple hundred pounds for it um but yeah this one I've absolutely loved I'm sure you can get it in different colors as well like a white but like I said he'd be grey um so that's probably like the biggest change which Andrew's been loving the next one to go with Andrew's room as well there's a couple of new things in there is his beanbag chair um we were looking for like one of those big kind of display things where you could have like a bed with a chair and a desk and all that but none of them would work out because of his space so if we got one with a, a bed at the bottom of it if we folded it out the door wouldn't open if we folded it out on that end then again the door wouldn't open if we fold it out on this end his set of drawers it wouldn't go all the way out because of his set of drawers so we needed something that could kind of we could move about in his room to be able to fit it in place and if it is slightly too small which we did measure that it um the space is probably about a few centimeters short of what he needs with a beanbag chair all you have to do is squish it and it fits in place <laughs> so we got him this foldable one that he can sit on and chill and read his books or if he can flip his screen around he can watch stuff or it can fold down into a lounger or you can sleep on it if you wanted to as well um it was quite cheap to be honest i was going to get him a futon one of the moving ones that weren't attached wasn't attached to the bed but um you were looking at like 160 pounds minimum for one of those unless i wanted one of the foam ones and the foam ones didn't seem like they had lots of support on the, the back um so i didn't want something like that i actually found this on ebay um it comes in loads of different colors ava wants one now it must come in like 20 colors like pink purple green yellow but he, he's got gray um and yeah i love it and it's really comfortable and you know we put his pillow on there as well if he wants to sit on it but i mean the only downside to it is sometimes i have to go in there and adjust it because he sits on it and stuff and moves around and because it's foldable it kind of like twists a bit and yeah i'm just a neat freak when it comes to that but he loves it and obviously when he can have sleepovers again like with my niece and things um hopefully she'll find it comfortable at night time as well to sleep on when she stops over um Another thing in Andrew's room, last thing, is his cube unit. Now, we've been wanting some cube units from um, Ikea. Um, the Ikea ones are a lot bigger than the ones he had before. Um, the sixth one that he had is practically about that much bigger 
than the one he's got now and this one's a four cube unit so the boxes are a lot bigger and you can fit a lot more things in them um, and the thing that we had with the smaller one is, is he's got quite a lot of books and we couldn't fit them all in there or they were too tall to be able to fit in there now his books fit in there perfectly and we had a big problem trying to figure out where everything goes obviously I ordered his cube unit in his bed first and I weren't going to order the, the chair depending on if it fit or not but we figured out that if he has the top two boxes of some things that he can get out so one's full of his computer stuff and one's like um, no one's full of like little little toys and the other one's filled with like um, Nerf bullets and stuff like that they're the only thing two places he has to access so his books we actually put in down to the side of his chair where he can lean in and grab them he can still see them okay it just it's easier to grab a book and twist it and get it out rather than fighting to get a drawer open but it looks really nice and really cozy for him um and yeah he's been absolutely loving it going off that as well is we've also got another cube unit which is downstairs now we wanted the ikea one but unfortunately it is sold out everywhere i wanted the light oak I didn't like the normal oak because it was too orange for me and it didn't look right because my husband's oak desk is a lighter oak, is an actual solid oak, um, not laminated wood, um, but I wanted something that would match in it. Obviously it's not real, It is the cube unit is lam laminated, you know that really thin plastic bit you get over the top to look like real wood but it's actually fake. I needed it to closely match that so we said they liked one. Um, but throughout lockdown I've been checking practically every single day and it has been sold out everywhere in the light oak, in the normal oak, even in the grey one because I was debating about the grey one because it's oak and then you've got like little grey bits and because our kitchen is grey as well that one could have worked and it was just sold out so I had to get it from home base. So yeah this is one from um, home base, the boxes actually are from Ikea, both of them are the same downstairs and um, in my son's room and you can switch them around as well. I can't remember what effect it is, I think it's like a stone effect but then if you turn it around it's just plain grey. I do have a negative to say about this though is when you have it the stone way the zip to zip the bottom catches so when you pull it out and then you push it back in the zip catches on the wood and it started to scratch some of it which is completely annoying um, but obviously if I flip the boxes around it's then plain grey which Again, it's annoying because I bought them for the concrete side, but you know, that's the only downside with them boxes. Um, but yeah, it's a great unit. Basically, we had a massive space between the door and the husband's desk, and this fills it perfectly. It was just filled with rubbish that the husband was leaving there, and I got fed up with it. At least this time, all of his electronic stuff, whatever, is all put away, and it looks organised um, in there, and it's not a mess. Um, but yeah, I love that one as well. And we did actually find it, I think it was a couple of pounds more expensive or cheaper. It was practically the same price as from Ikea. I think Ikea's is £35, I think. And uh, that one was 37 I think. One of the other things that I realised that I like is Shakerware. Um, I don't know if it's called Shakerware or Shaker. Shaker unit, that's probably a little bit better. Um, but the unit we've got downstairs on the top of the hall, that's classed as a shaker. I didn't think it was, but it, it, it is. Um, it's like an older style, but I think it's coming in because there's loads of it. Um, and basically, I it was Mrs. Hinch. I think it was Mrs. Hinch. I saw her basically... I always thought the little cupboards next to the toilet was just for toilet roll. And if you don't know, we have three toilets in this house and... I can't have a small unit for toilet paper because if I buy a pack of nine toilet papers, if I put three in each room, then that is, is gone. Um, so I usually buy massive bags of toilet paper for like 24 plus toilet paper so it could be stored because it seems like you've got a lot, but actually you don't because it all gets <laughs> divided and then you think, oh, I've barely got any toilet paper left. So basically i thought that was just for toilet paper until i watched mrs hinch and she actually puts her cleaning stuff in it so like a bleach and stuff like that which is great so i ended up getting one next to the toilet where i could put all the cleaning products in before they used to be on the um kind of like a ladder display at the bottom but i didn't like the cleaning things being on display like you could clearly see them i didn't want that anymore um so i changed that to have the kids bath bombs in there and like spare sponges and like hair shampoo like shampoo and stuff like that in there and then put the cleaning stuff in between the bath and the toilet 
and you can't see it at all because the bath hides it <laughs> um but i love it um, everything's in there now, now cloths gloves bleach sprays everything and the kids don't go in it which is a bonus but they wouldn't anyway if i told them but it's it, it just looks nicer and cleaner and to go with that oh i bought that from amazon but you can actually get them from argos as well um i think at the time they were on offer on amazon so i ended up buying mine on amazon but actually they're pretty much the same as amazon and argos they don't know if they're the same brand but they looked identical um the next one we got is a um this one was from argos <laughs> it is basically like a seat storage um again why well, i need a big unit for toilet paper and i wanted it to match like shaker style and the kids climb on the wicker basket we used to have and it's wicker so obviously it's not the steadiest we've had it since before we lived here so we've had it for more than four years i'd probably say five or six um and yeah i think it was gifted to us i can't remember when but yeah so we've had it for years i obviously repainted it when i painted the bathroom but it just wasn't the best anymore and the un the new unit that i got can actually fit more toilet paper in which is great but not just that is it's a seat so my problem was is underneath their rail um well obviously where the towel is the units would be too tall and they'd hit where the towel is and i didn't want that but this seat one because it's got a bit that's raised and then it goes down um that bit actually goes behind it so i can i mean i can fold up anyway to be smaller but if it does go the way I want the towel, then it only just hits the seat part, which is great. And it means that when my kids are brushing their teeth, they don't have to fight over the step because I didn't like them standing on the wicker basket because my son, even though I don't need to, like to stand on the step. And that means my daughter can't use the sink because she can't see in the mirror. So um, they were fighting over that. Now my daughter can like sit on that and then sit up and look through it. So they're not fighting over the sink anymore. And it means that if they wanna I don't know get changed out of the bath or whatever they can sit down on that seat and yeah it's been amazing the only thing that i didn't like about it is the mechanism to the slow mechanism i didn't like that i did not put that on because it just kind of it wouldn't go on properly so i'd put it on the on the top and then it wouldn't fit on the bottom even with the wiggle in and i actually had a lot of trouble with another one that we're going to speak about in a second with the same thing so basically i'd close it and then it completely snapped so yeah i left that mechanism off because it just didn't look like it was going to fit like even the amount of wiggling it just looked like it was too short even if i flipped it around and stuff so yeah i didn't put that on um but it still looks perfect um the next one i got which is the um the shaker style again is the like laundry basket the wash basket that we have in the hallway this is the one that i had a problem with when i put the mechanism on so i put the mechanism on it's meant to be the slow release so it closes it slowly and don't slam it i closed it lifted up and the thing just popped out with nails so now i have like holes in it um that's fine i mean you don't look inside it unless you're doing the washing which i'm the only person that does so it's fine um so yeah that's why i completely was like no i'm not putting the mechanism on the other one because i'm afraid that was going to happen because it just didn't look like it would sit right um i have another shaking it downstairs which i got ages ago that one's got the mechanism in and that worked completely fine um that was also from argos so i'm assuming they're the same kind of not brand but in the same category like group like the names i was worried that we wouldn't be able to fit enough clothes in but everyone was saying oh yeah it's big enough and blah 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 and when you looked at it you thought whoa that's quite slim which is good because it's wood in the hallway which is another thing i was having a problem with in case the kids ran past it when they're hitting heads or anything like that but they are tall enough now not to hit the head on it <laughs> and um it is very very slim it is very very slim which i absolutely love so it's a little bit taller but it's slimmer and yeah it's just great um so yeah we've been kind of like moving towards the shaker unit um, like I said, I've got them downstairs as it is, but no, I've got some upstairs, but I just think they're really, really nice. The last and final one, which to be honest, wasn't something that I was going to get. It wasn't something that I was looking at. Usually when I want something, I'll find it, screenshot it, and then save it on my phone, because then when I screenshot it, it will say at the bottom directly to website, and I click on it, and it takes me to the website where the product is, and I can purchase it from there. Um, but basically the little gray um table and chairs were just getting to me um we couldn't have two people sat at it drawing 
because an A4 sheet of paper sheet of paper portrait would only fit one on and that's probably leaving that much at the end so if Ava had one and I had one they'd overlap um, at least half of them would overlap on each other and it drive me insane and then when my sons um, obviously couldn't use his computer to do homeschooling he was then using my computer on the table and it was taking over the entire table like my laptop so I went and looked for a bigger table and then I got this one which is gorgeous um, before I was used to solid solid wood so I knew that I'm gonna last I was a bit unsure about this one it is a metal one but then it's got solid wood on the top and then solid wood on the chair but it looks so nice it like really smart um, proper oak wood on the top and the, the top of the chairs which is amazing the, st the stools which everyone was complaining about on the reviews that they are quite short but I was like I don't care I can sit on that completely fine so my kids can sit on it completely fine so I don't think it really matters but the table is quite taller than the chairs so even though the chairs are quite low I can fit underneath sitting on the chair with my feet touching the floor so not even stretched out touching the floor without touching the top of the table which to me that's something I want rather than my kids growing out of it even though people said the chairs were too small but the stalls like I said um so yeah I got this one from Argos um I think it was like 45 pounds so pretty much the same price it cost me for the solid wood one but um like I said the table is humongous Ava's been doing some drawing so what I'll do is I'll leave the pieces of paper and stuff on the table so you can see the size difference com like compared to my old one but the one thing that I absolutely love about this which everyone's complained about is because the chairs are stools the chairs go under the table which it looks so much nicer um because i have a radiator cover and then a chair in the corner before having this, the table i like having the table directly in the middle of the um radiator cover which meant that the chair of the table and the chair in the corner would be too close together but then now even though the table is bigger it looks completely fine because they're tucked away nice and neat and yeah I love it <laughs> so something that I wasn't even thinking about buying and I bought last minute I absolutely love it because it's served as well <laughs> and it means that Andrew could sit on the table doing his work and then Ava on the other side could draw colour or even do a schoolwork like writing and stuff and there'd be en enough space for the computer and Ava to do her work um, which is better off for us but no I think it's so nice I was worried about it because last Christmas not the Christmas gone but the Christmas before we redid the table because it was really dark wood and I wanted to redo it because I was changing the living room and we got light wood and we put it there and I was like no I don't like it so I ended up changing it again and I was really worried this time I'd be like that like get the light wood put it there but it actually looks really nice we have a few bit of oaks bits in the living room so it kind of goes with them really really well now that we've got the new flooring in there as well um we had it in the kitchen a while back just i think um in the first lockdown but then now we've got it all the way through downstairs so the only room that doesn't have it downstairs is the understairs toilet um but that's it and um, so yeah the whole wooden flooring now has got done there as well which it looks i think it just looks so much better but yeah i'm going to start rambling up now they're the new things that we've got for the house including the flooring which i wasn't going to mention i didn't even think about the flooring um but yeah that is something that new that we've got i think it was just before this last lockdown started yeah i'm going to start rambling up now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new but i hope you have an amazing rest of the day and i will see you soon bye <laughs>